Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are looking at tools from Google and how this assistant can help us with ABAP development. For this, we open the website tools.google.com. We see here the legal. We have to approve. So I checked both checkboxes because I want to get invites and I want to get news. So I click on continue. And then we see the button connect to GitHub. So for choose, we need a GitHub account. So we open the GitHub website. We scroll down here to the first GitHub link and I already have a GitHub account. If you don't have an account, just register, register and it's pretty easy. And for Jules, I want to create a new repository. So I type here Jules test and a short description. Jules AI test repo. Okay, then I set this repository to private because it's just for my test and then I click on create repository. We see the test repository is created. And now we can go back to the Jules website and we click on the button connect to GitHub. Then we click on the button authorize Google Labs. Then we can pick the option all repositories or only select repositories. I pick the second one, only select repositories. And here I pick my test repository, Jules test. Then I click on the button install and authorize. So then this was successful and now we see the prompting window. And for my test today, I want to create a program. So I write here, write me a program in SAP ABAP with these conditions. First, I want to join the tables as flight and as carrier. Then I want a selection screen with the input fields care ID and con ID. And then I want to display the records from the table as flight and the column from the column carrier name from the table as carrier sorted by care ID and con ID. And now I click on give me a plan. And then Jules is thinking. So this is my prompt. And then another questions, question about notifications. No thanks and deny. I don't want to get any not notifications. So if my prompting is more complex, I can, you can activate the uh, notifications because it takes more time. But in this, in this case, it should go more faster. So we see here the different um, sections. First, the define of the data structures, then selection screen, then the retrieval logic. So the select statement. Then the sorting of the data. Next, the code to display the data. And the last part is the assembling of all the code snippets to, uh, to the whole program. So now we approve the plan and now Jules is working on the first part. It's the data structures. So Jules 
are defining some data structures and internal tables. And we see here the first code snippets is the definition of types and the internal tables. We see Jules uses the carrier date, Connor flight date, and the carrier name. This will be the output. That looks good. Next, the selection screen. This is the code for the selection screen. Looks also good. It's the car ID and the con ID. Next step is the select statement. Okay, it's done. So we click on the program on the code snippet. Okay, we see the join and we see the select options. Looks also good. Okay, then the sorting that should be a one liner. Yes, so sort GD output by car ID and con ID ascending. So the next code snippet is the display the results. Okay, we see it's a simple write statement. Write first line the header information, airline ID, connection number, flight date, and then the loop. It should work. And the last step is the assemble of the complete ABA program. So all parts are combined now to a hopefully working program. Okay. So it's called set flight report. So we zoom out here a little bit to get all the code snippets. And now let's click on the set flight report ABA program. We see here on the right side the code, the generated code. Okay, and on the left side we have a summary of the of the steps. We can review this. That looks all nice. So I would say let's copy the code in our IDE. I have already started the clips and I use one of my test programs to check this generated code. So let's have a look at this program. Okay, this one. Okay, so I clear this program and I paste my generated code here. We see, okay, one error. And here we need escape value. Okay, format the code and let's activate. And now let's run the code. So we see, okay, select options are here. Let's execute the program and we have here an output. Airline ID, connection ID, flight date and the airline name. So the join works. So now let's check the selection screens. Yes, LH. Now we add the connection number 400. Again, we execute the program. So it also works. It works too. So, okay. But I want to change the code for the display. I don't want to use a normal write statement. I want to use the SRF table. So I just write here, show me the result in an SRF table. 
So now I have speed up this a little bit. Jules is thinking. We see some updates are done. Again, a new code snippet, display data sarf, and the whole program set flight report is updated. And again, a short review, for example, key changes replaced the write statement loop with CL sarf table logic. So let's copy the whole code again and paste it here in our test program. Okay, two errors. So this type is unknown. Okay, let's command it. And again, the escaping variable. Okay, we have another error. So let's scroll up. Okay, here it's a problem with the command. Activate and we run the code. Okay. We see the display is now with an ALV grid with all the additional options like exp file export, Excel export, sorting, filtering, and so on. The selection is working too. And so this program is working. So, and what we can do now is we can publish this code to the GitHub repository. We click here on this publishing branch. Then we can check the repository. We see here updated now. So click on it. We see here the last commit from Google Labs Jules bot. See here the code snippets and the whole report. It's all working. I think, in my opinion, Jules from Google is definitely worth a look. It will take a closer look at it and check how complex the queries or the prompting can still be here and how well Jules is familiar with individual SAP modules such as MMSD or HCM. Have you tried Jules yet? Let me know in the comments. And if you don't want to miss any future videos about SAP, then subscribe to my channel and activate the little bell so that you are always notified when something new goes online. Thanks for watching and see you next time.